Hello and welcome back to another Dream Weaver tutorial. This is video number 15 of the series. We are designing a simple website. There's nothing fancy in it. We are learning basic stuff. And once we have learned uh, basic stuff and uh, we have learned how to build a, a simple website, we'll do more complex things. Now we are in the process of building a contact us form. We used uh, HTML coding to build this form. We could have done that. We could have achieved exactly the same results with the help of these set of tools here that is provided uh, by Dream Weaver under form step. Now, in last video, we also validated uh, this form. Means when people see this form we want them to fill in every field and then uh, send us the the data we don't want them to send empty name field or empty email address by mistake now this form is not attached to anything means there's no coding behind it we'll go to uh, the internet browser and I want you to pay attention in, in this area when I hover my mouse over this button. Okay. So that's how you can check what coding is behind the, the button on any website. So if I hover my mouse button over here, it is showing me the location of this form on my hard drive. Okay. If this form was online, you'll see the, the location of the form on the website and if there's a code you should see uh, that uh, you should see either a PHP code or Java or something else now also we want to make sure that this form is validated so I'll leave this field blank and I'll type in an email address and I will say test and I'll try to send this form. It comes up with an error message. Name is required. Okay, so if I type in a name and I leave this blank or I type in something that is not a proper email address uh, format and I click here, it says the following errors occurred. Email must contain an email address. If I type in an email address that is in email format, add sign is important for it to know that it's an email address. And I click here, there's no error message. Now, the problem is the data hasn't gone anywhere because there's no coding. We'll, we'll be creating a simple PHP code in order to let this form know that uh, the data has to go to an email address or to a, a database. We, before we start doing that, we can also learn one more thing. So if you go to your comments, you have this email link. So if I say, uh, email us and I select this and I click this this thing comes up so the email is uh, uh, mail at academy of professionals.com this is another website of mine so I don't have any email address for this website yet so I'll say OK and you can uh, people can click here and then uh, they can send us an email rather than using this form. You can also uh, if you click here once again you can also type in your email address okay so you have this complete email address in front of them so they'll click here and they'll open their uh, Outlook Express or whatever uh, software they're using uh, they can send an email to us that way you can also type in your complete address here uh, phone number or whatever 1800 whatever okay and you can type in your address etc etc so I'll just remove this 
and because I don't have an email address for this website I can still use this email I'll go there again and I'll email us okay and there's an email address behind it as you've seen and the next thing is to create a PHP code for this form notice if I select this this is where you have to tell the form that uh, the what code is being used go back to design view and we will open a new document you can open any of these two things PHP I'll say create layout is none I'll say create and I'll save this as a contact PHP so we have this uh, contact us PHP we are in a design view the most important thing that you need to remember you cannot type a code in design view for PHP so you have to go to code view okay and uh, it has come up with uh, a default uh, thing so okay or, or we can simply delete this and we can start typing a code here and if you are uh, building a commercial website and you don't know how to write a PHP code I'll advise you to go on internet go Google uh, PHP coding for form or something like that and uh, there are a number of websites you can download free scripts uh, from uh, hundreds of websites and they are actually commercially and properly built and that way you can make sure that you're not uh, making any mistake uh, it can be very complex so first thing you need to do is to is to let uh, the document know that it's a PHP thing so type in PHP and then you have to close this tag as well okay and then you have to type in the code button we will be using a mail function okay in PHP which goes like that okay and again I'll type in an email address here I'll say mail at academy professionals that is one of my email addresses dot com and then we also have to uh, we can uh, so this is the email address the data is going to and we can also say the subject we can say message from my university okay and double quotes again and we have to now choose what data has to go to this email address so we have to design uh, or define a variable a variable means it's an entity that can hold a piece of data temporarily okay. so if you go to contact us form and go to design view this is going to be a dynamic field this will change always this will be a new set of data a piece of data for any consumer so if it if I'm filling this it 